Hey everybody, uh, Jocelyn here, um, talking about my new rain jacket today. Love my rain jacket. Um, I got the Marmot Crystalline uh, rain jacket from Sierra Design, Sierra Trading Post, not Sierra Design, Sierra Trading Post. Dot com. Got it on a huge sale for Christmas. Um, see here, me wearing it with all the layers that I will ever wear with this. And it is barely snug, but not really too bad. Um, not really. I can move around pretty well. And this is, I'll take it off in a second and show you all the layers I've got on it. Um, show you the hood here for a second. One of the things I like is that this jacket comes up over my mouth a little bit. And the hood is actually, instead of being one solid string, it's two sections of string. So it doesn't collapse your little visor. But it does cinch down Pretty good. Like that if you're in a storm conditions. Really easy to undo and get off if you need to. Or right. um, my hat fits under it really great. Let me go ahead and pull this off for a second. Show you everything I've got underneath it. North Face Verto wind jacket under over my REI Rebel Cloud vest with my REI quarter zip fleece, then my um, REI midweight underwear, and just a synthetic t shirt. Um, this is way more than I probably ever wear while hiking, so I don't really need it to fit under anymore. I know a lot of people like their rain jackets to fit over their winter coats too, but to be honest, I'm never going to hike in my winter coat, so I don't really need my rain jacket to cover all of that. Um, this is probably my basic winter hiking. Um, layers. Sometimes I'll I'll take this off if it's warmer. About midday, but you can see it still fits really nicely. Not too bulky. Not too thing. Um, oh, one of the things I like about this jacket is I still have full use of my hands, even if I've got them like any other place. It's not coming up. It's not moving. And when I cross my arms, it comes just to my wrist. And if I've got these wrist, the wrist guard, which are fairly easy to do with one hand, as easy as Velcro is ever going to be. If I have those sealed, then my insulation layers don't come out at all. Um, but like I said on my blog post, it does right up, it, it doesn't come all the way down, and um, it does have these pockets that are not mesh. Let me show you how it packs up into its own pocket. Um, it's the left hand pocket that took me about a couple of days to figure out. Um, which is actually rather embarrassing how long it took me to figure out how which pocket it went into. Kept trying the right pocket and it wasn't. It didn't have an inside zipper, so I was like really confused. Probably should have only taken me a couple hours to figure out to try the other pocket, but it didn't. So that's it in its own pocket. It has a little tag little mini zipper. It's just another toggle on the other side of the main zipper. If you can see that. 
so it's really lightweight still. And if you really needed it to, it can pack up even smaller. Alright, and that is my rain jacket. Like I said on my post, it weighs 6.7 ounces for the large in women's. And um, the men's version of this jacket is called the Mica. They also have something called a Super Mica, which adds the pit zips and a couple other features, but um, they don't have that for the women's version yet, which is fine with me because I didn't really like the pit zips anyway. All right.